So when it comes to Frankenstein, are you a Mary Shelley kind of guy or a James Whale, Boris Karloff kind of guy? Well, nothing against the latter. I think I'm a Mary Shelley. I like the human aspects of, of, uh, of um, the story. I like the fact that he's, I like rejected by his father, ostracized by society, you know, trying to find his place in this world. You know, he's a very sensitive uh, creature. Um, you know, I've felt many times in my life like that, you know, and uh, so I resonated with that part of the story. As an actor, how do you begin to even comprehend a character who has lived for centuries? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask yourself those questions. <laughs> That's how you start. Well, I mean, you know, look, I mean, uh, as an actor, you, you look at the script and um, you do what your director tells you. You have a Mormon background, and you served as a missionary in France. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about oh, well, that Well, well, in respect to the film. I want okay. to so see if Go you ahead. like this, okay? Yeah. See if you like this. I'm going to try and tie it together, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, how do you, did you draw on that at all for Frankenstein's mission, which has some religious aspects, you know, souls and such? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that was bad. You did not make that work. Oh, I'm sorry. I tried. I gave, you, I gave it the old That was try. a stretch. All right, okay. But... I, you know, look, uh, well, the thing is that he doesn't know that he has a mission uh, oh. until he has to make a choice whether or not to help. Uh, I think when he gains his soul is when he, he realizes that he can contribute to society, that he can help save society. That's when he gains his soul. Wow. <laughs> And this is an IMAX 3D. Yes, I saw it that way. It was, <laughs> I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the big epicness. So I have a fun question for you. Go ahead. All right, so it's Yvonne, uh, Miranda, Jai, your director, Stuart, all Aussies. You're in Australia, shooting. Yeah. How is it being the lone yank? Let's, let's, let's pick Frankenstein apart. He's a guy that is in a land where he's not among his own. Uh, he's, you know, he, he's not familiar, he doesn't have a... It was very appropriate for my character. <laughs> so, although the Australians are wonderful people, and I felt perfectly at home and loved all of them, um, you know, I think it worked for the character too, because then you could, you know, uh, you could get done filming and then you could just go wander the streets and, you know, you kind of felt like uh, the character Frank is, uh, Adam did yeah. in the movie. So my last question for you is, is that recently this, you know, like the, the gothic genre films have gone very teen. Mm -hmm. now, why do you think it's important that Hollywood still make adult films like this? Which is something I liked about this movie. Well, because I think they can be appreciated by the whole family. I mean, this movie's, what's movie, what I like about this movie is that the themes are so archetypical. I mean, and they can, we can learn from them. I mean, you have themes of, you know, Trusting your instincts, you know, making choices. Choices have consequences. Finding your purpose in life, you know, doing what's right. And I think we need that kind of stuff. I think that, I don't know that it's, uh, um, uh, you know, demographic exclusive. You know, I think mm -hmm. that this is appropriate for all people and that we c need to con continually be reminded that we have the, the capacity um, to do good and to be good and that we continue continually re-examine ourselves and where we are in life. You know, that's what I think this movie's about and that we can, um, that we can contribute.